Back in my day, one of the coolest things you could have had was a flip phone. Why were they cool? I don't know, but I remember just flipping open my razor, calling people, everyone's like, whoa, that kid has a freaking razor. But now no one really cares about them. You open up a flip phone, it's like, what, you, what century are you living in? What is that? But watch one day, they're gonna make a comeback. You never know. Then again, there was some point where all the phones were just shrinking down to a small size and so now they're blowing up again. It's, it's crazy. We just go back and forth across everything. Why are we talking about this? Oh, that's right, because we're doing a learn with me and we'll be taking a look at Flip Phone by Tobias Levin. What up crew, hope you're doing well. To give you some background, Learn With Me is a series I came up with a, a couple years ago because I wanted to learn cardistry, but learning it by myself was kind of annoying and, and boring. So I thought it'd be cool to record a whole process of me learning. So when you're also learning this move, you don't feel like you're doing this by yourself. We can do this together and hence learn with me. Before we get started, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe as well as it really helps out this channel. So that being said, let's get started. As always, let's just get started by watching the performance and then we'll go ahead and view the tutorial, right? The tutorials that they have. Here we go, flip phone. Check it out. That's it. Clean, clean, flows very smoothly, short. And I wanted to keep this one simple because I feel like I've been having a hard time learning. So I want to keep this one simple. Maybe we'll step it up for, for next time. But that is Flip Phone. Now that we've seen that, let's just watch the tutorial. And for those of you who don't know, I like to watch the tutorial first, just so I get a good understanding of the handling. And then in the second run through is when I try to follow along. So uh, let's continue watching and check out the tutorial. All right, starting with the mechanic grip, lifting up, going to the Z grip moving our index finger to the bottom, twisting that around. Okay. This, I feel like this would need to be practiced a little bit. Close that up, close, and that's just uh, pivoted around and close, just like that. And wait for it. There we go. Oh, are they gonna show it again? They usually only show it once. They're gonna show it again, wow. All right, we got two things to look at now. And wait for it. There it is, there's the close. Bam, 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 bam. All right, so. Uh, we watched the performance. We looked at the tutorial like twice. Uh, I think uh, you want to grab your deck of playing cards. I'll grab my deck of playing cards. I got it right here. And uh, let's get started. One last thing before we actually get started. I like to break down these practice sessions just in 20 minutes per day. Uh, this way it keeps me from being too frustrated. It also kind of helps to build some kind of muscle memory overnight. So I usually find that doing it the next day is a lot better than doing it for like another 20 minutes on the same day. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing it 20 minutes every single day until we get it down or until I run out of time and then I have to post this video. Whichever one comes first. All right, let's do this. Hit that play button. All right, so we're starting off in this mechanics grip. Uh, we're going into the Z grip right here, right? Nothing, nothing too crazy going to the Z grip. Not bad at all. What happens from here? Okay, so we're in the Z grip. The ring finger is holding this top packet here and then our index finger comes down here. This is a bit of an uncomfortable position, but that's fine. Uh, we're here and, and now what? And this packet goes here. Oh, I missed the pass of the thumb. I missed the pass of the thumb. Let's go back. So we're here. All right, we just discussed this. Why do I keep missing it? I feel like I'm, I, how am I missing this? We're here. So this is being shifted down there. Uh, this is released with the thumb here. So it's only gripped by ring finger and index finger there. Oh, sorry, sorry. The top packet is gripped by ring finger, index finger like this. Bottom packet is gripped like this. Okay, that makes sense. 
Okay. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly get here. So we start off with um, uh, what, whatever, mechanic script. Uh, we come up like this. What happens here? Your ring finger is here gripping. Index finger goes over there. This gets pushed like this. So we're clearing this packet over there. Well, maybe I shouldn't have used this angle, but it's, oh geez. It's like this, this gets shifted and we grip the bottom over here. So we grip, ah oh, man, how do I start the video now? There we go, grip the bottom here. And then this gets turned in like this. And then this goes like this. This goes like this. This goes like this. And yeah, of course, that was so easy. So easy, of course, obviously, come on. Okay, quick recap. So we start off with the Z grip. Uh, we're here, we go here like this. Uh, yeah, definitely day two, I wanna move the camera over there. But we, we start off here and then ring finger takes over, middle finger, this is going up like this, this goes like this. And this is a bit of a difficult part when we're bringing this around here. This goes something like this. That's fine. This goes here, like that, close, like this, like that. Pause and then drop, right? I'm just gonna really look for the subtleties in, in this one right now. We're gonna watch it again and look for just the little subtleties that we're, we're missing. Okay, step one is a Z grip. Step two is he's taking this packet. This top packet is gripped between ring finger and the index finger. And the bottom packet will eventually be gripped by ring finger, oh sorry, not ring finger, index finger and index finger of this hand. This bottom packet here is being pulled down. And this packet gets gripped. It's already been gripped by the index finger, but then you're almost grabbing it with the thumb here and the packet in the back that's actually being covered, I wish they showed the, a, a front view or something. The packet that's being covered now in the back gets kind of twirled around and tucked into this hand is what it looks like. Yep, right there, as you can see. So these, this whole packet just rotates fully. Let's just watch that again. So this packet, follow this one. And you see how it gets rotated and then gets placed um, vertically, well, horizontally, vertically up in this hand, like so. The index finger is no longer making contact with it. So when did it stop making contact? So when the thumb fully gripped this, so really just passing it from our index finger here to the thumb here, that drops. We use the index finger of this hand, of our, of our right hand to kind of help put it in place along with the index finger of our left hand. Uh, this is gripped, this packet here is gripped between ring finger, index, uh, ring finger, Pinky finger, ring finger, and middle finger. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. And then this packet is kind of held in, in this grip where it's almost pinched here by the, it's almost held like this. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's held like this. You can actually probably see it better on, on uh, his performance. And then we're just closing that up and then we pivot and we close. Okay, let's, so, so now that we've talked through it really in detail, we start off here, moves on to here. This is going like this, this comes here. This twirls in like this. Uh, this packet falling forward and I, I lost all control. Lost all control, this comes here. Close like this, like this, like this and like that. Okay, one more time, one more time. So we're here, I like to start off in a straddle grip, just makes life much easier. So we're here, oh God. Also getting that stretch is definitely not comfortable, but you know, it is what it is. Here like this, there we go. What happens now? Oh, uh, this is like this, like this, like this, and like that. Okay, I think I have a good amount of the technique down. Hopefully you do as well. One thing that I wanna see here is, I think I'm fairly familiar or 
you know, know how to get to this part. Let's keep going. So here, I want to see how this thumb goes from in front of this packet to next to it. Okay, so it gets, it really gets helped by this index finger, uh, this index finger when it goes from here to here, and that's what helps with the thumb movement. Okay. Now, my other issue that I'm having is this packet back here is, is, uh, is falling. So let's just quickly go back. Huh. Close and close. Okay, let's try this one more time. We're here like this. Now what? Okay, now we come here. Uh, well, this is going around like something like this. This is going around like that. This is helped like this. This goes here like this. And how are we closing this? I feel like my closing looks stupid. So he looks like he's closing with the middle finger. Let's just go back. So he's pushing up with his thumb to a certain point. So to a certain degree, he's pushing with his thumb. Huh, actually, I want to see where the rest of the fingers are. No, not here. Okay, we close there. Oh, so only the index finger is really behind this packet. And then we straighten out with, with the middle finger. Okay. Okay, let's get to that position. So we're here, here, like this, like this, here, like this, thumb pushes, open, and then middle finger helps to smoothen that out. We pause, holding for a second here, and then drop. That's really all there is to it. This is not bad. I finally feel like I can learn to move. I think we can do this. Okay, so I just closed out the video. I think the main focus for the rest of today, we only have like two, three minutes left, but I think the main focus is I really wanna slow down and focus really on technique. And I think focusing on technique the first one or two days will really help to uh, really uh, get this process down. So Z grip, index finger goes down, still very uncomfortable. As this is happening, everything else is also happening. So that may be one thing that if you're not too comfortable with, that will need to be practiced. This comes here, this helps out like this. What, ah, oh, whoops, that dropped. That dropped, let's pretend it didn't. This comes here, this goes like this, and we close, and then we close. See, that's really not too bad. Like this, 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 uh, it's honestly, it's hard getting that stretch. I may just, uh, throughout the day, I may just like sit here. Ah, uh, oh wait, this comes down, this comes here, like this, this. That. The closing part at the end definitely needs to be smoothened out. And the only other thing is getting this stretch. The ring finger to middle finger stretch, definitely not easy. Not easy at all. Oh, geez. Here, like this, like that, like this. Close, close, and close. I have no idea how this looks on camera, but hopefully not horrible. Whew, again, 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 boom. Now what? Boom, boom. Note to self, don't focus too heavily on one aspect or you're gonna fail everything else. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, some very, very low level of technique has been figured out. Um, what, really we, what we really have to work on, or at least I know what I would really have to work on, is smoothening parts of the flow and making sure my ring finger and uh, middle finger, not ring finger, middle finger, my ring finger and index finger can work well together in, in holding this packet because that is what kills me. If I focus on that, everything else gets super thrown off. 
and uh, it gets a bit difficult. But I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna call it a day for day one and we'll come back stronger with a different cam camera angle on day two. Do you have any idea what day it is? That's right, day number two. Let's check out where we left off. Um, so originally we go here, Z grip, open up like this, getting that, index, getting that ring finger, index finger coordinated is not easy at all. And we do this, pass that over, ow, I'm in pain. That goes here, grab here, close like this, and perfection. Well, I mean, obviously it's not perfect, but here's what I'm thinking. What if instead of using your ring finger and index finger, especially if you have smaller hands, what if you use your um, pinky finger and index finger? Because this is so much more comfortable than this. So let's try that out. Right here, pinky, index. That makes life so much easier on this part. And we're coming here. Oh, whoa, okay. Try that one more time. Here, pinky, index, pass that over. Comes here. Then we grip like this. Then we send that over and then we flip it closed. I think that the difference that I see now is when we're doing this and uh, we're doing all this stuff, when we're gripping with this hand here, we have to make sure we get into a similar grip that we had done before. I think before with, the, with here, we were coming like this and it was gripped on with this middle finger and was resting on the ring finger. Now, if I'm here and I come over like this, now it's gripped on with the ring finger and slightly resting on the pinky finger. And it's not, um, there's not as much coverage with the pinky as there is with the ring finger. So there may need to be some kind of, uh, we may need to make up for that somehow. Uh, I'm not sure how yet, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how easily these cards drop. So I'm redoing some, some of the technique I learned yesterday because I feel like I kind of have to if I wanna use this method. Okay, so I think we have something uh, going for us here. I would say that if you have small hands, I think it'll still work. If you have small hands, instead of using your uh, ring finger and index finger in the beginning here, right, like is, uh, like is shown in the actual tutorial, I'd recommend using your uh, index finger and your pinky finger. It makes life so much easier and I, I think it works just as well. Uh, but if you guys disagree, do let me know down in the comments. So we're here, here. The only thing is, uh, when doing it this way, I feel like it's more difficult to get into this grip. Maybe that's just something I need to practice. So we're here getting into this grip. Uh, see, I, it's hard for me to focus on everything. So I think that's, that's gonna be my main goal for today. Just getting the technique down with a focus. Okay, so get a focus technique down. You know, there's some point where I try to go on autopilot, but when I try going to like the, in like an autopilot type of thing, just going off of muscle memory, it, I forget to do a, a few steps. Like for example, here, I just stop here instead of bringing my thumb down here which obviously is not great, but uh, it is what it is. So I have to not go into autopilot yet. Soon, we'll get there soon. You know, I try to look at myself in the camera while doing this uh, in terms of how it looked to another, to another person. And uh, yeah, every time I do that, I just forget to do a step or I just mess up. I think at this point, the place where I'm having the most difficulty is not here, not here, not here, but closing this here and then coming to close this here and making this close look smooth. And that's that's where I'm having some difficulty, but I'm sure, I'm sure we'll make it through regardless because all everything takes is a little bit of practice, just a little bit of practice every day and you'll be surprised where you are in just a couple of days. All right, quick break. Just give my hands a bit of a stretching. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's get back to it.
I'm actually starting to enjoy this. This is very nice. Boom. All right, I'm gonna try to watch myself on camera do this. Here we go. All right, I missed up the ending a small amount, like a slight small amount was right. Just this very small amount, so not not too bad. Check that out, yo. Making good progress, and it's only day two. I'm not gonna lie, I think tomorrow's gonna be the last day because this is coming along pretty well, and I am thrilled. That was really good. That was really good. Ah. Oh my god, sorry, I just got excited from the other time. What happened? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, somehow my fingers are just like, nah. You said you did good? No more. All right, just about to wind down, about to hit the 20 minute mark for today. Let's do one more. One more, here we go. <laughs> Not a bad way to end, guys. Whew, doing well. Another day, another nickel. All right. I really think this today is gonna be the last day because from what we did yesterday, I think we made some really good progress. Like, check that out. That's that's pretty much done. I think I'm going to spend, like, maybe 10 minutes practicing today, maybe 15. And uh, then we're going to call it. We're going to go into performance mode, and we're going to do this. But for now, let's keep practicing. You know, it's weird. Although I feel like I could do this move, if I look at myself on camera and try to do this move, it just doesn't work. All right, let me try that out right now. All right, I'm looking at myself on camera. Here we go. There we go, see that? Card split. One more time. It was actually okay that time. Didn't, didn't fail too bad. Not bad at all. I like this move. It looked easy and it actually was easy. Unlike L cuts last time, that thing started off so easy. Everything was like, oh, this is great. And all of a sudden, whoop! You just couldn't do it. Oh, well, there it is. This is how my L cuts are looking, by the way. Check that out. Not too shabby, right? I uh, know, not horrible at all. But anyway, this is not L cuts. This is, oh, that was the wrong move. What is this again? This is flip phone. There it is, the phone flipped. Uh, definitely one thing I'm uh, taking away from this in terms of packet sizes. I feel like it's good to have a larger, a slightly larger packet on top. Uh, middle packet, you definitely don't want to be too big, otherwise it gets difficult to handle. Uh, and bottom packet, it's it's whatever, you know, the bottom packet doesn't do that much. But like, check this out, bottom packet doesn't do that much. But here, it makes life easier to have this a uh, bit smaller, the center packet. And, uh, you know, when we're closing this up, that was bad close, but... And even here, when we're swinging this closed, it's easier to swing closed if it's a bit of a thicker packet. So let me just do that. So you see how that was uh, a little bit easier, although I, I, I feel like it's difficult to see, but I think you'll know. When you're doing this more and more, you'll know. See, that time that top packet was huge. Even this time, top packet's huge. And if I go ahead and do this, it's so much easier to manipulate the two bottom packets if the top packet is bigger. All right, my camera is running out of battery. That means we're gonna call day three to close and go straight into performance. But I would say my biggest takeaways is uh, one, instead of using a ring finger, 
here in the beginning, right? Instead of using a ring finger here, you use your pinky finger as it, I feel like, accomplishes the same effect. And uh, two, be aware of the pack or be aware of the packet sizes as having a bigger packet on top does make things a little bit easier. So with that being said, let's do it one more time right here. And now let's get into performance mode. Well, my friends, thank you so much for learning with me. It's definitely a lot more fun when we do things together. Now, the one last thing I have in this video is a giveaway. So first of all, huge shout out to my man, Jay Waters, for going to the card mechanic shop and sponsoring a deck of Canon Stupus playing cards to be given away. You always gotta admire those people who give back to the community. And if you wanna support him and follow him on Instagram, I'll put the link to that down below. And without any further ado, here's what you gotta do for this giveaway. Just comment down below a cardistry move or a sleight of hand move that you've always wanted to learn or have had difficulty learning, and then follow it up with a hashtag giveaway. That's it, that's all you gotta do and you'll be entered in the giveaway. And a quick note, the giveaway winner will be announced 48 hours from the release of this video. So get your entries in on time or you're gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out big. Oh, and the giveaway winner will be announced on my YouTube community page. All right guys, hope you enjoyed learning Flip Phone. And if you wanna continue learning with me, I have a whole playlist of videos right here that you can check out. A lot of great moves to learn all the time.